so for this first video I thought we'd go ahead and do the um, art snacks box that I got sent to me this month they send out each month they send me a box with um, four to five art utensils of varying prices and qualities and different things just to kind of see what's out there and what we can use for art so I'm going to go ahead and use this as my first video they sent a tube of abstract paint this one's cool because it's got um, a special application to it. You can kind of get it's like a, um, they call it a liner, so you can kind of do details with it. So we'll go ahead and <clears throat> see what we can make with that. I got this art crayon. It's more like a oil pastel. Um, it's a little bit bigger than a crayon. You know, you can change how much of it comes out. Then they sent a, along a Tombow. Um, pencil with uh, each level of um, lead <clears throat> and lastly they sent me a paintbrush for the tube of paint that I got so we'll go ahead and see what we can do with this <clears throat> I figured you know being the new year and all trying to think of what I could draw up for us and I figured red and green Who's that? What do we do with that? Uh, I'm going to do Mario and Luigi. So we're going to see what, what they're doing to celebrate the new year. So we're going to start out with that. Switch dude. So I always like to start my sketches off, obviously, um, with pencil. So yeah, while I'm drawing, um, I'll kind of be thinking of how I'll go about this in the future. Um, but yeah, so if you guys have any ideas of what you'd want to see kind of going forward, um, a little bit of background on me. I am a new graduate um, from U of L back in May. I graduated with my bachelor's in graphic design. So um, for this channel, you'll be seeing. Anything from me drawing, you know, cartoon characters and other silly content to um, maybe doing redesigns for logos and companies to kind of see what I can do for them. Or just random designs of my own that I come up with to kind of see. Um, you guys can kind of see how I do my own graphic design. Um, I do have some ideas of expanding portfolio pieces that I have. Um, so I can, you know, maybe I'll throw those in here and we'll... Um, put those up as videos kind of see how that works out but yeah um, if you guys think of anything go ahead and drop a comment down below and let me know what you'd like to see so I am using a reference for these um, just because I don't want to have to try to freehand characters on the fly while you guys are watching um, and watch me erase 7,000 times to get the right character proportions and looks down so I am using a reference for this. The hard part is going to be how to color and work this piece with only red, green, and a pencil. You know, normally I'd bust out markers and um, colored pencils, ink pens, all that kind of stuff that I like to use to fully detail and color the guys but you know um what they say on the box for the art snacks is if you you know come up with an art piece using um the stuff they send you you can go ahead and you know drop that online somewhere tag them with a hashtag and they'll you know add you to like the little challenge hashtag so i want to i want to be able to do that so obviously i'm going to only use what they sent me but you know, coloring in characters with only red, green, and a pencil. Seems kind of tricky. But yeah, so we'll go ahead and drop these guys in here. If you can't tell, this here's Mario. Started with him. <clears throat> Who's your guys' favorite? I always always chose Luigi, Luigi <clears throat> when I was playing.
you know, I always I always chose um, Luigi back in the day, but usually because I was the middle child, so my older brother, you know, obviously back in, you know, those of you who game, we know that the older sibling always got to pick first, and they always chose Mario, so I got Luigi a lot, but I ended up liking Luigi, and so whenever I would play, um, like Mario Kart and other Mario-related games, I went with Luigi, because I liked him. So, yeah. Got a little bit of Mario action going on over here. With his six suspenders coming out here. So here's where, here's where the coloring is going to be tricky because, you know, he's got blue suspenders with yellow buttons and blue eyes and you got Luigi with purple suspenders with the yellow buttons and they got blue eyes so it's like I only have red and green I guess we'll have to go with pencils to show the you know definition of the other types of stuff that they wear so you got eyeballs coming in here Portions are a little off, but that's okay. What I've learned is if you use a reference, but you, you know, change it up and move things on the fly, it turns into a style of your own because it's not the same thing that you're looking at. It's your own take on a character. So, almost got, almost got Mario done. Bring in the other arm. <clears throat> so my idea, or the idea that came up was, you know, it's January. I got red and green. I was thinking Christmas, but can't really go with Christmas in January, right? So what else can you do with red and green? Well, Mario and Luigi are red and green, and it being, you know, second week or first week of January, you go with how do they celebrate the new year? Like, what is... Mario and Luigi got going on. So here we go, showing them with the new year. Boom. Got yourself a Mario. Okay. So now we gotta bring in Luigi over here. I already tell I didn't plan this out because his hand or uh, his body is going to be severely cut off compared to Mario's, but it's okay. Still get the idea. Still get to see Luigi in action. Whole lot less of Luigi going on, but you'll still see him. Wow, that hand's wonky. <clears throat> it's nice to see Luigi still getting some love, though, with the second, or third, is it third now, of Luigi's Mansion coming out, or just came out, I think it's already out, um, so he's still getting his time in the spotlight, he's not getting shoved to the, uh, shoved to the wayside, he's still out there, still, still making his games. Just realized this, and I don't know how I never realized this before. It only looks like they give Luigi a neck. It doesn't look like they give Mario a neck based on how they draw him up. Because they got Luigi here. This goes back up. And you can see Luigi's neck. But on Mario over there, you don't get to see his neck. All you see is 
his head on top of his shoulders. It's, it's pretty weird to think about that way. I don't know why they wouldn't give the main character a neck, but, you know, who's going to argue with Nintendo? Super expressive eyebrows. Underneath the hat bill. Okay. <clears throat> Finish up Luigi's eyes real quick. Well, something like that. Also, with this angle they got going on here, also looks like Luigi has like a mullet going on. Coming out here behind his ear, which is great. Love that. It's a good look for the Luigi. Alright, just about finished up with the sketch here. Got Mario's little waistband. You're going on over here, so drop that in there. Okay, so there we go. Got our underlying pencil sketch. I'll throw it in here just in case, but. So there you go, base looking sketch right there. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to bring in and we're just going to color in the hair and darker things with the pencil and then we'll use the color to kind of separate them and make them pop. So we got obviously you got dark around the eyes. Got dark hair. And then for skin tone, just to save on the contrast and trying to figure that out. We're just going to leave that to white of the paper so that it's easily recognizable.
too, guys. They got some pretty killer mustaches, don't they? mark the eyebrows so they do get their <clears throat> they get their fill in but they're not mis mixing with the hair too much okay come over here and fill in Luigi here's the question who's got the better mustache does Luigi with the simple you know Two dips, get the better one, or you got Mario over there with his crazy ass. Um, multiple dips. Remember, guys, this is my first video. Um, hopefully, going on, you know, going with it further. The recording and the content and <laughs> my crazy monologuing will get better as we go on. But for now, stick with me. Enjoy what I draw. I enjoy what I draw. See what happens. Okay, so there's our sketch filled in the darker hair and color areas. Now we're going to try and see what we can do with our art supplies. So here we go, we got green art crayon for my boy Luigi. It's going to look really weird because it's like, you know, a super huge oily waxy crayon versus the detail of a pencil. So i got to try to stay in the lines, color like a good little boy. Just to not ruin my picture too much. They're definitely going to have their own looks. It's going to be easy to tell the different art supplies used because of the texture and appearance that paint will give off versus a crayon with its waxy, you know, texture so already we can see Luigi coming to life over here with a signature green look you do lose some of the details with like creases and you know lines that I put in for markings so I'll have to come back and see if we can maybe draw over the pen, the crayon with that and see if we can clean up the edges. But if not, you know, you get a general idea of what's going on here. Alright. That's our boy Luigi. Pretty much wrapped up. Just got to finish up the hat here. Like I said, we might come back and see if we can refine some of those details that you lose in the coloring. Because of the nature of the crayon. Alright, now here comes the hard part. Here's what we got to try to use. The paint. Now it has the, <clears throat> has the fine liner application, but I can't exactly fine liner application all of Mario. I'll have to try to paint him in somehow. See if I can get a scrap piece of paper over here. Get me some paint. I think I will use it on his hat though to get the M because it's a smaller area and it'd be fun to kind of see how this plays out. He's 
kind of tricky though. It doesn't want to come out. Brief te technical difficulties with our paint. Alright, there we go. Getting a little bit of paint action on the head. Oh, we got a little splatter. It's okay. Alright, not the easiest thing to work with, but it'll work. You can see the M from Mario, so it's definitely going to show up. Alright, let's see if we can get some of this paintbrush action. Like I said, when you finish with both applications, you're going to get a very different look for, you know, Mario painted with a paintbrush versus Luigi colored with a crayon because those two materials have very different appearances. And I think the paint might be a little bit more, op maybe a slightly bit more opaque to let the pencil kind of show up. I'll have to see once we back it up and see more of the two together. But also depends on how much you apply, I guess. Because the crayon, I think it's just a, it's a thicker, you know, oily wax base. Whereas this is like an acrylic base where it might be, um, yeah, more opaque. It's a little bit thinner. And you know, obviously, just an overall different, different medium to show off, so it's gonna behave differently. Mm, let's see how to do this next. It's gonna look kind of cool. It's kind of, it's got a good look to it. I like this, I like this paint. I'm not a, not a huge painter. I don't use it often. Um, you know, I just never had the patience to sit down and figure out how to use paint the right way and how to get it to do what you want it to do. So, for opening this and just trying to figure out what this stuff is on the, on the fly, it's kind of a fun little task. Okay, almost got that. Missing a little bit here in the corner. Okay, so there you have Mario and Luigi and they are celebrating the new year. in the typical Mario and Luigi fashion.